Hi everybody, this is Susie and welcome to a Vintage Design Studio. I am currently going to share with you a beautiful, beautiful project that I've been working on for the past couple of days. I'm very proud of it. I worked very hard to get this uh, project done and completed within almost two days as it is almost two o'clock in the morning. Um, I had to do this video because I really wanted to put it out there to show you guys. I worked, again, worked very hard on this project creating something very original and unlike anything that I've ever done before and certainly have never seen before. And with that said, I just want to let you know that I've used all of the up-to-date products that are being sold at wildorchidcrafts.com. Uh, whatever was in my design kit uh, that I was able to put together uh, to incorporate a fantastic project, I used along with um, Twins Moms, Esmeralda's Beautiful Trims. This may be a two-part video, I'm not sure, so I'm not going to waste any more time. And I wish I had a drum roll, so here goes, ladies and gentlemen. This is an amazing, amazing project. I can't wait to tell you the base of this. Um, I'm just going to share the background with you as quick as I possibly can. We have... Um, the paper line of Tim Holtz Vintage Shabby that I'm using here um, and the outside is that pink paper with the bird on it. It's beautiful and I use the uh, Mod Podge Gloss Luster on that. These are a uh, mocha colored um, Prima Flourish. Very beautiful. I'll start from the top. I have my roses that I made here beautiful fabric roses um, and I also made this beautiful uh, mulberry rose another fabric rose with a pearl in the middle an extremely large hat pin a button from my friend Nikki I made these beautiful stick pins here with some crystals and pearls on them I have wild orca crafts shooting pearls here and wild orca crafts uh, brown leaves and underneath Twins Moms, I hope you can see that uh, material in gold organza that I used with my Big Shot and cut the leaves out. Um, getting a little further down here, we've got a feather here and a wild orca crest flower and some wild orca crest shooting pearls. I have a piece, um, this is uh, for a door that I had purchased at my uh, local hardware store and I adhered that to the um, antique uh, brass uh, piece. <clears throat> excuse me, uh, that I had shown in my uh, antique video the other day. Um, down here we have some more uh, beautiful, <clears throat> I'm so sorry guys, beautiful uh, Prima Flourish. Coming down here we have the small bud roses, beautiful roses in gray from Wild Orca Crafts, along with um, that big diamond shape. Um, uh, diamond shape um, I forgot what you call it I'm really sorry about that um, and also I have here that the Tim Holtz uh, like a fragment doll or whatever it's called um, and I also have a, a beautiful um, stick pin that I made here and some just some gorgeous gorgeous scallop lace um, the wild orca crafts of course fantastic and beautiful flowers just absolutely stunning in um, this one was the white one that I had put um, my own paints on to um, change the color somewhat because I didn't have any pink flowers um, and a cream one just beautiful beautiful I'm trying to get to an angle so you can see it and lavender and gray and white roses there are some burgundy pearls that are mine and these buttons and the pearl from Esmeralda store I made these really cute little bunches of tags uh, with a Martha Stewart punch and threaded through um, some Oloroso seam binding from Wild Oak Crafts and made this beautiful stick pin. Um, I also have that frame there that I popped up on some very thick, um, it's uh, by Scotch and it's mounting tape so that I can easily slide a photo behind that. And this is going to be a, a personal um, project. I'm going to be keeping this for myself. 
Um, this came out very beautiful up here. There's chocolate bow from Esmeralda. And here is a highlight, ladies and gentlemen, on how this was made. It is actually two pieces, um, two pieces of wood that are in the size of 8 by 10. And I'm going to share that with you, hoping that I can stay in camera. Okay. And both pieces of wood are Mod Podged. And what I did was I put hinges on the both pieces of wood so that it will act as a book. Okay. And unlike anything that I have ever made before, here is an old vintage button, and um, I'd like to open this so that I can share with you um, the inside, which, ladies and gentlemen, all of you know that I really never do anything like this. So, um, I'm, I'm so sorry, I want to stay in camera here. And this just came off, okay. So sorry. This is a very fresh project that should not have happened. Oh, I forgot to mention one thing to you guys. That beautiful, beautiful cameo. That is also from Esmeralda Twins Moms. I just saw that now. And that really, really cute little, um, I don't know if you can see that there. It's one of those little wooden spools that I, um, that I distressed and, and put some twine on that. Okay, here we go. I'm trying to get this tripod to stand up straight. Okay. You open this up, and mini falls out. <laughs> and I painted the inside gold. And as you can see, the inside is gold. And here are the pieces of uh, hardware uh, that I had put on to make this um, turn into a book. And this is my mini album that I had created to go inside. Uh, and I believe the name of this person is, her, yes, Teresa Collins. Um, this is her, it was only two of them that came in the package that I had bought at least a year ago or longer, and it was in pink. Um, and it is uh, the, the um, it's like the paragraph. Uh, funny shaped but I really liked it and it was in pink front and back and what I did was I traced that onto uh, some cereal board and chipboard whatever I had in my stash and I covered um, I covered the inside pages with the shabby uh, vintage papers from Tim Holtz and um, the front cover has um, it's in pink the edges of each page, including the front cover, are etched with vintage photo and some gold paint. Um, the very bottom, the whole back of the of the front page has a cream-colored lace over it that is scalloped, and you can see that there. There's a wild orca crafts seam binding in a bow. You have Esmeralda's large flat back pearls, so beautiful. Look at these wild orchid craft flowers. You've got a Tim Holtz little clip there that holds a Tim Holtz um, little ticket. It says love. And you have also the uh, Tim Holtz D ring binders. You have Esmeralda's flat back pearls and cream. These are some um, beautiful lace laces that I have that I make flowers with from my stash that I tied in knots also here and made bows with them and some other uh, beautiful uh, pieces of um, trim here. This this pink hairy trim is, is from my friend Natasha and uh, Wild Oak Craft Shooting Pearls and also Wild Oak Craft's um, stick pin here and their stick pin here was just some other added embellishments to them. There's a, a piece of beautiful marabou boa sticking out. You have this flower that I made and I purposely put this one and this one on the mini because I wanted it to look like the front cover somewhat as well as using this flower and these other flowers 
that I had used. And this is extreme detail. I spent a lot of time doing this to cascade these flowers and form it as, as if it was um, some kind of an arrangement. Um, these here are actually stamens for the inside of a flower that are all pearls. And that's from the bridal stash that I have uh, when I used to do um, uh, bridal accessories and gifts. Um, these are here are also some more of the um, Wild Orca Crafts uh, vintage seam binding, beautiful roses, and these little um, pearl shaped pearls that you see there, the teardrops. Um, those are also from Esmeralda. She sells them on a strand, only I cut them and, and put them uh, randomly around. Uh, there's also some of her, the bling over here from Esmeralda. Um, just absolutely gorgeous. My favorite cow lilies, Wild Walker Crafts. And this is just a spectacular front cover. Um, and there's also some floating buttons back there too, but I don't want to disappoint anybody because I know that so many of you make absolutely stunning, stunning mini albums. Um, and this front cover is beautiful however the inside is not really quite done but I am not really into having all of the tickets and flowers and all the other tags and things like that inside because my goal here um, is to put um, some actual photos in here and the photos that I plan on putting in here are four by six photos and I don't want to cut them down, I don't want to shrink them, and I don't want tags inside. So um, again, um, these are mulberry flowers that I had made. Just gorgeous. Look at the detail on that. Isn't it so beautiful? And all the wild orchid craft flowers and the bling and everything from Esmeralda. Just absolutely stunning. And the back of the book is just pink. That's the way it was. And I did use my um, crocodile with some of those white little um, eyelets. And just to um, oops, show you the back of that, um, that's also the uh, papers from Tim Holtz. And I used... Um, the Mod Podge technique with that. Just beautiful. This is going to be actually on one of those easels in, on a coffee table or end table in my living room and um, as a display. And I'm sure it will definitely be as many other items are here in my home. A conversation piece uh, without saying so. Um, forgive the background. I'm really trying to um, lay this out uh, so that um, you can get a good idea um, of how everything will look together. I'm just really tired and it's really late. Here we go. And I'm just so excited about putting this together, you guys. I really hope that you enjoy this. And I know that that box is a really original idea. I do not believe that anyone has done that on YouTube and in the event that you should share that idea and you know pick that up and um, make something beautiful with it I would really appreciate it if you can just um, mention me in this video I would love to have other viewers come here and and see this creation so again thank you so very much um, for watching this video I really appreciate it um, I may be taking off a couple of days in crafting, so um, I will try to answer back everybody as quickly as I possibly can. And I hope that you, um, uh, I hope that you like this project because I certainly do. Okay, everybody, just a quick close up on everything, and then we'll say good night. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.